You have your air iron, it has arrived, and how do you curl with it? Let's talk about what temperature you start on to start, then we'll go through curling, and then at the end we'll talk about troubleshooting. To pick a temperature, what you'll wanna do is just know that if your hair is resistant to holding curl, it doesn't hold it very well, you'll wanna stay in the upper half of the temperatures. If your hair curls no problem, you can choose what's right for you. So a looser curl, go down in heat, a tighter curl, go up in heat. So you're gonna push and hold your button to turn it on. I'll just go 360 so I'm in the middle. I'm going to wait for the fan to turn on. The fan is very important for curling because it helps your hair cool and where hair cools is where it stays. If you put a curl in and the fan is cooling that hair, it's going to really help your curl hold and stay in for a very long time. This is how you open the iron, very easy. It looks like a flat iron but operates like a curling iron. So if you wanna go in and straighten, take your horizontal sections and you run over the piece. So on the left side, I just go in and I can straighten like this. No need to keep your cooling vents on while you are straightening. Let's go into curling. Taking a vertical section versus a horizontal section. So a horizontal section looks like this. You can see it's almost in line with your part. A vertical section looks like this, where the section will go perpendicular to your part, vertical section. Then you'll wanna take your section and pull it forward like this. The basic gist you have to know is that if the hair is coming straight out of the plates, you will not get curl. And then the more you rotate the iron, the more curl you'll get. The less you rotate your iron, the less curl you'll get. So I'll have more curl at the top and less curl at the bottom. You can go in at any angle. You can travel at any angle as long as the hair is running over these vents. It doesn't matter which way you enter the hair with the release button. What does matter is which way you twirl the iron. So if I twirl towards my face, my curl is going to go towards my face, which is the opposite of what I was doing with the other curls. The other curls I was going away from my face. So you can see the difference between rotating towards my face versus away from my face. I find it easiest to go in with the clamp in the back because I can open it very easy. And I use my thumb with my right hand and then I'm going in and rotating to the back and then traveling forward. And then I can always release a little bit if I want, if I don't want the ends as curly. When you're on your left side, what I like to do is come in with my pointer finger up over the top and then rotate back and then travel forward like this. That's my favorite way to create curls. You can also come in from underneath, rotate the iron and travel forward like that. So whatever's most comfortable for you, as long as the hair is wrapping around it, it will create curl. How to vary your curl. So if I want a more full curl, I might hold my iron more horizontal. And if I want a more lean curl, I might hold it more vertical. So do you see how this is wider and this is tighter? That's just the simple difference of me holding my iron like this versus like this. I've taken my low section from the back. We're going to go in, close and rotate the iron, and then travel forward. You'll notice I'm taking a nice slow speed as I travel forward, because I like my curls to last for like a week. If I go very fast, then my curls don't last near as long and they don't shape quite as well. A lot of people ask me what to do when you're finished with your hair. I haven't finished my style, but I want to show you that you shouldn't be afraid to go in and brush your curls after. You can definitely brush through these curls and they should hold. If they don't hold, it means you need to slow down. You need to go slower as you're curling your hair. Hopefully that helps you understand exactly how to use your air iron. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We love teaching you how to use it, making sure that you're comfortable with it and getting the curls you want. And of course, we always love reviews. We love to see them. We love to receive them. And of course, as a small company, it very much helps us out to get reviews. Thanks. Bye.